Soul Thoughts, Poems and Essays by Ashan R. Hampton. Soul Thoughts is a poetry collection of musings on a variety of topics that touch the core of all humanity, fond childhood memories, social issues, religion, spirituality, love, dating, and relationships. The collection is divided into three sections. The first section, titled Soul Thoughts, includes the soul or the author's inspiration for writing each poem. The second section, Dating, Mating, Infatuating, offers no explanation for the lyrical exploration of the giddy highs and lows of romantic relationships. In the third section of essays, Single Soul, Thoughts, Ashan reveals the most thoughtful, humorous aspects of her personable writing style as she narrates her experiences of being single at church, work, and other social settings. Soul Thoughts, Poems, and Essays resonates with the hearts and minds of readers who have dared to listen to their souls speak. Yes, I'm talking about myself in third person, <laughs> but this is my book that I wrote, Soul Thoughts, Poems, and Essays. I have spent many years as an English instructor. So I've taught literature, poetry, novels, and composition. And over the years, I, on scrap pieces of paper, wrote poems. I mean, just wrote poems. Like, they just flowed out of me. And eventually, I went ahead and collected all of them and published them, which is not easy to do because they are so personal. You know, the stories and the poems and the stories behind the poems are so personal to me. And it's difficult sometimes to lay bare and just make yourself vulnerable to people. But that is what I have done in this book. So if you really want to know about me, my personality, uh, what I have done in the past, how I felt about it, then this book is a really good way to get to know me. I'll go ahead and read the first poem, which was inspired by my deceased grandmother, Essie Lee Jackson. It's called When Mahalia Sings. Pink Kool-Aid, frozen in ice cube trays, tingly sweet to the tongue, smelling charred hair from the pressing comb laying over the old gas eye. Hot water cornbread and collard greens seasoned with hot Louisiana peppers. Never since Eden, never since is good. The command to go get me a switch from the old switch tree over behind the white and yellow smiling gladiolas on a hot summer day. Children filled with summer play. Hopscotch, Jacks, Two Square, Double Dutch, Red Rover, Miss Mary Mac. Early Sunday morning when the moon is just giving way to a small ball of orange sunlight rising slowly against the gray-blue haze of the morning sky. The floral, pungent aroma of the original Estee Lauder, Coca-Cola brown liquid in the bottle with a gold atomizer attached, threatens my allergies as Grandma sprays too much. The image of her rotund, tawny face in the mirror, cheeks smeared with bright red rouge from a small pink compact, keloids, throbbing, chocolate scars on the left side of her neck, a reminder of a jealous husband and a fierce will to survive, long gone. Sitting proudly beside her on the pew in her sharp pink hat and sharp pink suit, in a sanctuary on the land her childhood home once stood. Silent sobs of memories precious and painful, deep soulful tears like none but the melodious contralto of trouble of the world can stir. Hearing I love you, enveloped within the warm fullness of her body, feeling I love you, basking in the aura of her strength. A few of my favorite things I recall whenever Mahalia sings. Here's the thought behind the poem. I have fun memories of my childhood. My sister, the neighborhood kids, and I all had fun. It felt like we had extended family in all of Granite Heights. It's a shame that children can't grow up in that kind of safe, adult-protected environment anymore. This poem lists some of the things I enjoyed the most about growing up, including being near my maternal grandmother, especially on Sundays, when I sometimes watched her get ready for service. I don't know why these particular memories of her have stayed with me all this time, but they have indeed remained. For whatever reason, whenever I hear old Mahalia Jackson recordings, I immediately think of Essie Lee Jackson. I had just finished watching Mahalia's performance in the movie, 
imitation of life when I wrote this, remembering, smiling, and crying the whole time. This book is available now on Amazon. The print is only $9.95. Because of the heavy formatting in the book, it did not translate well as a Kindle ebook. So go ahead and get the print book and show your support for a fellow writer and uh, for this poetry collection. Hopefully it will inspire you to write and publish your poems as well. You can get information about this book from my website, www.arhampton.com. Click books. Or if you're listening to the Everyday Victory podcast for modern Christian women, you can go to www.mcwwisdom.com and click books. The direct ordering information is there. Or you can go to Amazon directly, click in my name or type in my name, Ashan, A-S-H-A-N-R Hampton. And you're looking for the book title called Soul Thoughts, Poems, and Essays. Again, go to my website, www.arhampton.com or mcwwisdom.com. Thank you so much for listening. Happy writing, and thank you for your support.